Hey guys, welcome to question MM224 of the Maths Methods Fortifier Study Guide. Now, the question tells us, consider the function f of x equals 1 on 3 times x plus 2 squared times x take 1. Uh, and it tells us that the point P, 1 half, negative 25 on 24, is on the graph of f as shown below here. The tangent at P cuts the y-axis at A and the x-axis at B. Awesome. Now, in part A, we need to find the, the rule for f dash of x, right? So the gradient function of f of x. So we know that f of x is equal to this. Uh, and because this is a one mark question, we can simply just put it in our CAS um, and just find the derivative that way. So simply type uh, menu for one, uh, and that puts out, that gets us to our derivative section. We type this in and we end up getting f dash of x is equal to, um, x squared plus 2x. Simple as that. That's our first and only mark. Um, and that's really it. Because we've got our calculator, we can just do it in, in the CAS. So that's part A. Uh, let's move on to part BI. Now part BI asks us to find the uh, equation of the tangent to the graph of f at point P. So BI is uh, one mark worth. Awesome. So we know that uh, a tangent is a uh, linear graph, which means that our equation is going to follow the uh, function y minus y1 equals, oops, equals m times x minus x1. Uh, so first things first, whenever we're trying to find the equation of a tangent, we need to find the gradient at that point. So we know that our x value is one half. We also know that our gradient function is x squared uh, plus 2x, which is what we found in the previous question, <clears throat> or the previous part. Our x value is 1 half, so we simply sub 1 half in. So we get f dash of 1 half equals 1 half squared plus 2 times 1 half. 1 half squared is 1 quarter. 2 times a half is 1. So 1 quarter plus 1 is 5 on 4. So we know that our gradient of the tangent is equal to 5 on 4, which means that we can just sub it into here. Uh, and we also know that this occurs at the point one half, 25, negative 25 on 24. Which means that our y value is negative 25 on 24. So that goes here. And that equals m, which is five on four, times x minus our x value, which is one half. Now expanding all this out and collecting like terms, we end up getting y equals five on four x uh, minus five on three. And that's our first only mark. So that's our final answer, guys. Uh, let's move on to part B, I, I. So part B, I, I tells us to find the coordinates of points A and B. So the question told us that the points A and B were our y-intercept and our x-intercept, uh, respectively. So, oh, of the tangent, right? So this, this tangent at P cuts the y-axis at A and the x-axis at B. We know that this is our equation for our tangent. <clears throat> I'll just rewrite this up here. So how do we find our x and y intercepts? By letting x equal y, x equal zero, and y equal zero. So let's find our y intercept first. So we simply let x equal zero times zero minus five on three gives us negative five on three. Now that's not it. We actually need to state the coordinates of a and b because that's what the question is asking for. So A occurs at zero, negative five on three. So that's our first mark there, guys. One mark. And now we need to find B, which is our x-intercept. So that's when Y equals zero. So zero equals five on four, X take five on three. Five on three equals five on four X. And then from here, X is equal to four over three. Therefore B occurs at four on three, zero. And that's our second mark. That was BII, two marks. Um, yeah, that's it. Just keeping in mind that uh, we're dealing with the X and Y intercepts, which means we can just let them equal zero. Uh, and that's part BII. So let's move on to part C. Alrighty, so part C uh, asks us to find the length of the line between points Q and P. Alrighty, so part C is, and this is three marks, guys. So just keeping that in mind. Um, so, P is where our tangent occurs, 
just here, and Q is the other point of intersection between f of x and our tangent, right? So if we're going to find the length between here and here, we're first going to need to find the coordinates of this point Q, right? Because we know our coordinates are P, but we can't possibly find the length if we don't know what these coordinates are. So let's find the coordinate of point Q. How do we find the point of, point of intersection between two graphs? We let them equal each other. So we know that f of x is equal to this, and our tangent was equal to 5 on 4x minus 5 on 3, which means for point of intersection, uh, 5 on 4x minus 5 on 3 equals 1 third x plus 2 squared times x take 1. <clears throat> awesome. Now, uh, because we have our calculator enabled for this question, do not try and do this by hand. Just say, according to Kaz, and then solve this in your calculator. Uh, so x equals negative 4, and x equals 1 half. So it makes sense that we would get 1 half, because that's where this tangent occurs. That's still a point of intersection and a tangent, um, which means that at Q, so this is actually, this is our first mark right here. Uh, at Q, x equals negative 4. So to find the actual uh, coordinate of Q, we simply sub in negative 4 into one of our equations. Uh, and normally you would just do either your uh, tangent or this, doesn't really matter, uh, but either way, f of negative 4, when you sub in negative 4 for one of these, uh, you are going to get negative 20 on 3. Uh, which means that q is at negative 4, negative 20 on 3. That's our second mark. So finding our q coordinate is, a very, is an integral part of this question, uh, which means we're going to get a mark for it. So, <clears throat> knowing that, um, now we can find the length between the two points. So we know our coordinate here, we know our coordinate here, which is negative 20 on 3, uh, which means we can now find the distance or the length between them. Distance is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Awesome. Our x2 value, doesn't matter which one's which, uh, you can just do whichever. Uh, I'm going to say that 1 half is our first x value minus negative 4 squared plus negative 25 on 4 uh, minus negative 20 on 3 square root of that awesome uh, so from here we get the square root of 9 on 2 squared uh, plus 45 on 8 squared which gives us 9 root 41 over 8 units. So we don't have any units given to us, uh, which means that we can just we just say units, uh, and that's the length. So we found, uh, yep, we found our third mark, which is our length. So we've actually answered the question now, find the length of the line between points Q and P. Our length is 9 root 41 on 8 units. Guys, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments below. Uh, but otherwise, have an awesome day and thanks for watching.